Hi, Grants. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi. I'm pretty fine. What about you? Pretty good. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How is everybody? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you guys doing? How's everybody? Yes, teacher. How are you guys doing? Can you guys hear me or no? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. okay, good, good. How are you guys doing? Really fine, teacher. Yeah, pretty good? Yeah, really good. Okay, good. How was your weekend? Sorry, because I have to work. You work? Yes, oh. I work at call center. So my schedule for the last week was changed only for the last week. So I have to work. Oh, no. Okay, wow. So you, so you had a, a busy schedule? Yes, that's right. I have a busy schedule. I'm um, sorry to hear that. So you didn't have any any time off at all for the last for the last weekend no because i have to work like 10 to 7 p.m not like 9 to 7 p.m 9 a.m to 7 p.m so i have to days wow. off but where uh, tuesday and friday so that's why i have to work on saturday on sun and sunday so that's why for this week uh, will be a change again. So I will uh, have a rest day on Friday and Saturday. Oh, wow. So okay. It's something better because I will rest at the middle of the weekend. Yeah. Where do you, where do you work? I work at work Concentrix. Oh, at Concentrix. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's it. That's good, that's good. Okay, well, in that case, um, if it works for you, that's the important thing, that it works for you. <laughs> good, good. What about the others? How was your weekend? Good, teacher. Yeah? Everything okay. Everything was pretty good? You had a good weekend? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay, good, good. Anybody did something interesting, something different this weekend? Uh, I was watching football, soccer. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Um, well, I, I, I heard a little bit about that, but I'm, I'm not a big soccer fan. So actually, I'm not a soccer fan at all. <laughs> so I really don't know what was going on. So tell me a little bit that what, what was going on this weekend in the football world. Uh, world. Yes, because. It, we was looking, uh, watching Copa America mm -hmm. and Eurocopa, oh. the, the two finals. Okay, uh, I see. Okay. And who won? We, sorry? Who won? Uh, Argentina and Italy. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the last night was playing La Selecta too. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. I see, I see, okay. All right, wow, so there are lots of things that were happening in the soccer world this weekend. Yes, the wow. Okay, okay, interesting. Well, that's that's good to know. I, I had no idea because I'm not really in, I'm not really in that world, but you know, it's good to know. So, hello, um, uh, Yvonne's pet. <laughs> that, hello, how are you? What what is what hello, is teacher? Hello. He is Chubby. Judy. Chubby. 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 Oh the Chewbacca. Oh <laughs> okay, Chubby. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah. Chewy. Oh, how how old is she? He's my, he's my partner in, in the in the English class. Yeah, but for some reason he looks bigger uh, because I I had seen him. <laughs> I don't know. Now he looks bigger. 
And it's not bigger. I don't know. It looks <laughs> bigger. Yeah, because I had seen but it but smaller. How how yeah. old is Chubby? Uh, he is one year old. One year old? Oh, yes. Oh, so cute. Yeah, maybe that's why, maybe because he's still like growing, maybe that's why he looks bigger now. Yeah. That's cute. Okay. Well, guys, um, uh, I, has anybody else had a good weekend? A good, interesting weekend? Um, I was cooking. You were cooking? Oh, what, yes. were, you, what were you cooking? Uh, churros with maseca. <laughs> churros with maseca. Yeah. Like churros, with maseca flor. Like churros españoles? Yes. Oh, okay. Interesting. It was a it was a new a new recipe. Yeah. Well, hmm. That's that's interesting. I'm I'm gonna try that because I love churros. And really? uh, yeah, I love churros españoles. Um, and it's not the same flavor, but uh, for me, it's okay. Uh huh. Okay. With sugar and cinnamon. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's good. You're okay. Okay. Well, uh, well, we'll have I can to... share that the recipe with you. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. Maybe you can share it through the chat. Okay. <laughs> good. Good. What about the others? Anybody did anything interesting this weekend? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing pretty good. Thank you. So anybody anything interesting this weekend? And yes, my daughter was on a show, a dancing show. Oh, really? I just we had the competition about dancing, oh. dancer from different countries. It was a uh, online, online, online. It was online competition. Uh, she went the first, 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 first. I don't know what it is way to say. Primer lugar, first place. The first place at the at the her category category. It was a uh, a little girl because she is let me see five years old. Oh. oh wow! Mm. Well, congratulations. Thank you, teacher. And and what what kind of uh, dance? Uh, is jazz. Oh wow! That <laughs> sounds interesting. Wow. Okay, very good. I actually know a bit of jazz myself. I really? yeah. I when I was in high school, um, I took four years of dance class. And I learned, um, I learned hip hop, I learned uh, modern dance, and I learned jazz. So yeah, it's it's a yeah. Bit, yeah, and probably from the three of them, I probably enjoyed jazz the most. I think uh, it's, it's fun. It's very fun. That at my daughter's uh, occurred the same thing because it, she they. They are study dance and they, they began study ballet. Ah. And, and at the end, they finished to study jazz and acro dance. Oh, they prefer that kind of dance. Right, yeah. So she's doing ballet. Uh huh. Wow. That's but right. you, know, you know what, though? Ballet is probably the best dance to learn when you are small. Because I, to in my opinion, uh, ballet is like the basis of all dance. It's not a person. A person that knows to ballet can pretty much dance anything. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so I, I, I know she may not like it right now, but trust me, she's going to really be thankful what, that she knows ballet later in life. Okay, excellent. I would like to be in uh, that future and, and dance yeah. with my daughter. Oh yeah, I know. The, I would have liked to learn ballet myself because I think, yeah, I, I think ballet is the basis of, of dance space. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the information. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, guys, um, thank
thanks everybody for connecting. And um, well, let's actually start with our uh, attendance. Okay, so let's start with Ana Claudia. Present teacher. All right, welcome. Javi. Present. All right, welcome Javi. Andres. Present teacher. All right, welcome. Dennis Orlando. Dennis Orlando. No, okay. Uh, what about Edgar, Edgar Alfredo? I'm sorry, I meant Hiva. <laughs> I keep on forgetting I have to say the last name. Edgar Menhiver? No, okay, all right. What about Edith Jorleni? Edith, Edith Jorleni? No, okay, all right. Uh, Irvin. Irvin? Listen, teacher. Listen, okay, teacher. wonderful. Teacher? Yes. Teacher? Yes. Uh, I can listen to you. I can listen to you. You can't hear me? Yeah, so it's normally like the first class. Yeah, I think I think you're having trouble with the internet because I can also um, hear your internet is not like it doesn't sound very stable. Um, sure, just one question uh, for that inconvenience. We can say your voice is good enough. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay, perfect. Um, so Irvin, what I can suggest you do is maybe see if there are other devices in your home in your home that may maybe you can turn off like from the internet uh, so that they are not um, consuming so much of the signal, you know, if it's possible, right? Um, because I work, with, I work and gave support to internet. So I don't know if, uh, how many MGB, uh, MBPS do you have, Erwin? What? How many MBPS do you have? Like 30 MBPS, uh, 20, 15, five? Five. Five. Yeah. You have five, okay. So if the issue persists, uh, you have to reset your modem and then you try to connect again. Could, could, could you hear him okay, Irvin? Did you hear the instructions? Yes. Okay. Okay, good. All right. Yeah, so sometimes that may that that may help you. You know, it's okay. You can you can disconnect and then come back again. Right. Okay. All right, guys, let's continue. Fabiola. No? Uh, what about Haiti? Present teacher. All right, welcome Haiti. And Irene? Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Welcome Irene. And Ivan, is Ivan here? Ivan? Ivan? No. Okay. All right. What about Josue? Is Josue here? Not here, teacher. All right, welcome Josue. Juan Francisco, are you here? Yes, teacher, I am here. Welcome, welcome Juan Francisco. Okay, and Jerry, is Jerry here? Present teacher. Okay, wonderful, Jerry. Luis, how about Luis? Present teacher. All right, welcome Luis. And Manuel Alejandro, Manuel Alejandro here? No, okay. Natalia, is Natalia here? Natalia, no. Okay, Wendy, what about Wilson? All right, welcome, Wendy. And what about Warner? Listen, teacher. All right, welcome, Warner. Uh, Yvonne? Present. Welcome, Yvonne. What about Hello, teacher? Edgar uh, Enriquez. Edgar Enriquez. Yeah, I'm, in, I'm here. 
but actually I'm still working. So uh, uh, give me one minute, I'm perplexed, but I'm here. Okay, okay, no problem. All right, I really appreciate that you're connected even though you are still at work. I, okay, uh, Eli, how about Eli? Is Eli here? Eli? No, okay. And Jose uh, Mora, uh, Montes, Jose Montes? Jose Montes, no, okay. And Jose Ayala. Present teacher. All right, excellent. Okay, all right, welcome. Okay, so let me just make sure that I have not missed anybody. I didn't hear Dennis, Edgar Menjivar, eh, Eddie Chorleni, Fabiola, Ivan, Manuel Alejandro, Natalia, Eli, and Jose Montes. Did I miss anybody? No? Okay, all right, <clears throat> wonderful. All right, in that case, guys, um, so first of all, um, I hope everybody had a great weekend. And I think um, everybody knows that um, our, the, the uh, what's it called? the the platform has already been um changed re revised and everything so there there should be no problems with the exercise number one now okay so or, or better said the 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 homework for i think it's one point one point two i think it is oh, i'm mistaken something like that get over it get over it <clears throat> um Let me see. It's the first one, 1.1. 1. 1. Is it 1.1? 1. 1? Mm -hmm. And uh, the mistake was on num the exercise yeah. number two and three. Mm -hmm. Now yeah. it's fixed. Yeah, exactly, 1.1. 1. 1. OK, so um, it's already been fixed. I've checked the homework for the other, like, all of the week and it doesn't seem to be anything wrong with the rest of the exercises. So for this week, you should be okay. Now, remember that tomorrow I have, first thing tomorrow morning, like at the first hour, I have to send the report, right? So that means that today is your last day to complete all of the exercises from the first week. So you have, um, you have until today at midnight to finish 1.1, uh, 1.3, 1 1.5, 1 1.7, and 1 1.9. Okay? All right? Got it? Okay, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. And also, um, there are some discussion questions that I want you guys to also participate in the discussion questions so um you know once you have finished once you have done all of the things from the platform make sure that you also have uh, participated in the discussion board as well as well okay um any questions so far anything you want to ask me Everything's okay. Everything's clear. And I was checking the module, and you said that we have to complete until where? Um, in in the platform, the first the first unit has to be complete. The first unit. Yes. The, oh, first, the first unit. The first unit has to be complete. So okay. first unit had to be complete for today, teacher. For today, yes. Yeah. So 1.9. That's the oh, 1.9. Okay. That's perfect. the last, yeah, that's the last one you have to do. 1.9. And the discussion part is uh the week number one is uh three the three items right there, right? Yeah, so far at this moment there are only three because okay. Today, because the one from today will be uploaded until the video is 
uploaded. Now we'll oh, it's missing one, so there will be four in the discussion with one. one. Exactly. Okay. So okay. Well, number one, there will be four because, like I said, for I can't um, upload um, the the discussion unless I have a video there. Ah, so okay. I haven't uploaded the video yet because obviously we're having the class still, right? So okay. uh, once I, I have the video uploaded, then we'll have the dis we'll open up the discussion. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Any questions that you guys have? Teacher, I have a question. Why in the platform only have four? Uh, uh, for uh, units and we have five uh, weeks. Why? Uh, in, in, in my mind is uh, one unit for, for week. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Um, the thing is that the um, let me, the units tend to be a little bit longer mm -hmm. than the other ones. So if I'm not mistaken, si no, si no estoy muy equivocada, in the past, um, the units have been like 10 pages per unit. Mm -hmm. And now I think they're like 12 or like 12 or 13 pages per unit. So that's why it's, it's longer. Not because it, it's not because um, we're going to have five units. It's because the units, the four units are long. Each unit is longer. Mm, okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Anything else? Any other questions that you guys have? At this time. No? Mm -mm. All your questions are answered? Yeah? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. All right. So guys, we're going to finish off our first unit uh, by starting with the PowerPoint presentation. Let me know if you can see my PowerPoint. Can you guys see yes. it? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, so... Uh, so this is the intermediate module one. We're still on unit one, the restaurant industry. And the date is Monday, July 12, 2021. And say number five, your facilitator is Jessica Herrero. <clears throat> okay, so um, first of all, we're going to be doing this part, which is actually um, something that we're gonna be working in, in pairs and when, or yeah. So, this is kind of like a review of what we saw on Friday. So work in pairs in your assigned breakout room. So I'm gonna assign you a breakout room in a moment. Use the steps in the previous slide as an example to write a basic plan to introduce a new product to a food, fast food restaurant. Remember that on Friday, we were looking about basic plans to introduce a new product. Do you remember that? Yes or no? Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, good enough. Right. Okay, good. All right, so then you're going to define the strategies you will use in your, um, in your action plan. And finally, you're gonna present your action plan to the class, okay? So um, you're going to be having basically, I would say, you know, at least four or five steps to take to introduce um, a new action plan, okay? So you're going, so you're going to come up with an action plan for a new item on the menu. It doesn't matter what the item is. You can have like a, a starter, you can have a, a, um, you know, a, a snack or a main course or a dessert or a new beverage, whatever you prefer. Okay, but the important thing is not exactly the 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 item that you're going to be introducing more about it's the strategies you're going to be using. So maybe your strategies are to use, I don't know, um, social media, right, or it could be um, to like, um, it, you know, use marketing like to show um, it to 
I don't know, to show pictures on, you know, um, place different places in the city, what the new menu, whatever, whatever it is, right? Whatever strategy you have decided with your partner. So I'm gonna right now get you to work in, in pairs, okay? So let me see. Um, Werner, are you are you on two devices? One, yes. two devices. Yeah. Okay, nice. All right. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you about 12 minutes to figure this out because I don't, I want you to come up like with a real plan. I don't, I don't want you to just, you know, make something up, you know, I want you to really think about this. What is the best strategy, you know, come up with those steps that you're going to be taking. Okay. And um, just to make sure that you guys uh, do remember. Um, just give me a second. Okay, just just to to remind you a little bit about what we saw last class, I'm going to show you a little bit about the, the the steps that we saw in last in last class, so you guys can remember what kind of like what kind of things to do. Okay, so. Um, so this was, this was the one, what we saw on Friday's class, right? Which was the action plan was this, right? This was an example of an action plan. Okay. So we had, um, so we had, um, so you had to ask yourself these questions, what action or, or change will happen, who will carry it out, when will it take place and for how long, what uh, resources are needed to carry out the changes and the communication. So who should know what, right? And so these were some examples, right? First, like the drink, we said for, these were the, some steps, like the drink will be available during Valentine's Day in a promotion that continues through Friday, uh, February. The chef created the recipe for the drink, the manager approved it, and the advertising staff will be responsible to market the product, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is what we saw we saw on Friday. And something similar to this is what you're going to be doing with your part with your partner. Is that clear what you're going to be doing? Yes, it's true. Yeah? Okay. All right. So let's open up the rooms right now. I, okay, I have my, my plan right now. I'm going to share it with you. And first, I have uh, um, my plan to introduce a new product. The product is um, a spicy pizza. It's my new product, right? Um, first, I make a post to know different opinion about the clients because they say they say as their preference about the products. Then 
provide free full samples of the new product for them. Then use social network sites to share the information about the pizzas, the spicy pizzas, and give a promotional offer that includes new items for for the client try our, our my new product and this is my farm okay very well it's very nice okay in my case that's class so there are five five questions that we have to to answer the five question can be the dream will be able during valentine days in a promotion that countries through february the a b c d e i, I guess Teacher, we have to change the questions or we have to be the same. I don't know. If... No, like the questions will help you to guide you to make the plan, but you don't have to use those particular questions. Okay. Teacher, those questions are the letter A, B, C, D. Right, yes, you can use those questions to guide yourself, like to make the plan, but you don't need to use those particular questions. Like if you don't use it, it's okay. 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 What well, resources you need to share, carry change? Let me see the step that we previously slide. Well, the first step that we are going to put here is, let me see, what action uh, or change will happen? Uh -huh. This is the, the main course, the new chicken burger, new chicken, the new barbecue, yeah, the new bar uh -huh. chicken, the new bar chicken burger barbecue. Yeah, this is the, the main course. Um, the snack. <laughs> and the drinks. And the drinks uh, could be a, a new lemonade flavor. Um, uh, it's something that we launch the new product. Uh, in combo, chicken burger, uh, fry, uh, drink. And the number one, what action or change will happen? Is it to, uh, launch the new product, a chicken burger barbecue? This is the. Um, hey, what action or change will happen? We got a uh, chicken burger barbecue, uh, new product. And then number we will carry out. Okay. Um, um, in this process involves the chef. The, uh, we're going to need money. Um, uh, strategies of um, marketing. Um, how we want to communicate to the customers the new product. Yeah. Mm. The, the what is the the ingredients of the of the hamburger? Burger ingredient. 
The main mm -hmm. ingredient is chicken. Chicken. Um, and and bread. the flavors, barbecue. Ah, the chicken, bread. Bread. Uh, mm -hmm. Barbecue sauce. Okay. Tomato, onion. Onion. And if we're talking about five step, uh, the second step, step number we're... two, the chef create the recipe for the churros. But in this case, as you are the one creating the recipe, you will, uh, uh, yes, let's and say. And the manager approve it. You are the manager. <laughs> no, let's say that you will teach the chef. <laughs> <laughs> to in the preparation because you already been trying so there is almost a re recipe so uh, it's almost created uh, so you will teach your new invention <laughs> yeah okay so i think the second step is to teach and provide this no provide the steps to make make a a tasting, tasting, tasting is degustaciones, right? Mm, I don't know. Teacher, can you help us with that word? <laughs> tasting. 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 Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Uh, so make a tasting festival. Do you think with sweets and yeah, salty with all, churros? Yeah, with, with all, all kinds of churros. Ah, Sweet okay, churros, okay. salty churros, cheese churros. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay. 30 churros. 30 churros. Okay, so the second step, it will be make a festival. A tasty, fe no, you say tasty festival. Tasting. A tasting festival, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like the idea, tasting festival. With different... Different kind. Recipes, I guess, recipes of churros, salty, yeah. sweetness. And sweetness. And I guess that will be the best way to find out uh, the meaning. But I see that in the restaurant for um, contrast the 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 time you wait uh, give the a starter in the in the table because your your um, your a uh, your meals comida sí, no. your full your, your meals is. Uh, to wait for your meals very, very much. Yes. A long time. I don't like wait a long time when I'm looking a little food because sometimes I'm looking for food because I I feel hungry, angry, hungry, and then if I I have to wait a long time, I don't like. Wait, wait, wait. You feel angry? Angry. <laughs> es que me estoy confundida. Hold on. Angry, angry es enojada. Sí. Que, que puede pasar. O sea, yes. yes. I mean, stay hungry because it's hungry. <laughs> yes. when, when I'm hungry, I feel angry. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Angry, angry is mm, angry. Hungry. Ha, ha, hungry. Okay. Hungry. Hungry and angry. Okay. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay, and then when I feel hungry, I feel angry. Cuando tengo hambre, me siento enojada. ¿Ok? 
this, this is my idea. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> For marketing, it's very good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's right. Are yes. you guys ready? Are you finished or do you need more time? Uh, we are finished. Okay. You yes. Ready? Yep, well, I'm gonna finish it, teacher. Okay, excellent. Um, I'll see you guys in a moment then. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So we're in there. So gonna be like drink, non-alcoholic is lunch uh, for um, families and childs. Yeah. X. Milk sugar in. X. X, X, that's right. The X. Are you finished or need, do you need more time? Uh, let me see. We are at the four. Just we need the last one. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Right. Okay. Thank you, teacher. The next, the last one is number five communication. Who will, who, who should know what? Advertising board staff will stay in communication. Are you yeah. are you finished? Yes, we're done. Yes, teacher. You're done? Yes. Yep. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. We're almost gonna go back to the main room. So I just wanted to check if you guys were, were ready. Okay. Okay, right. teacher. I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay. Uh, uh, the hamburger will be available on August in the San Salvador celebrations, holidays. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, can I just ask if you guys are finished or do you need more time? Uh, we need around mm -hmm. two hours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. How about two minutes? Uh, oh, five. <laughs> five minutes? You need five, oh, minutes? five. Do you really need five minutes? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'll see you <laughs> because the majority of the other groups are finished. So uh, we'll have to see. While well, I'm just doing the round, probably around two or three minutes, okay? Okay, thank you. All right, see you guys in a moment. Okay. Hi, guys. Uh, hi, teacher. Hi. hi, guys. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. You ready? Yes. Okay. All right. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Um, I'll see you guys in a moment. Okay. okay. One, two, three times. Okay. Yes, it's very interesting because John import the but the the the, the meals is very big. In, I in, love the pizza. In this case, the clients, uh, they so they have value for the quality, not for the service. Yeah. Sorry, Wendy, to interrupt, uh, but I just wanted to mention something. You said it don't import. I think mm -hmm. you want to say no importa. Yes. You don't say I, it's, it's no not important. No. no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Is that a matter? Because mm -hmm. uh, it, it don't import or it, it doesn't import means no importa de, 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 de traer a un de importación. Teacher, yeah, I don't care. I don't care means no me importa, which has a totally different idea. Ah, okay. No importa, no importa is like, ah, está bien, como sea. ¿verdad? Puede ser que no me importa significa como, o sea, no, 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 eh, no quiero saber de eso. So it's kind of different. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Okay. Okay.
Okay, guys, it's time to share. All right, so um, you're going to choose a secretary from your group. So, teacher, I am here. Oh, teacher. great. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Okay, I had a problem. I had a problem. I had a problem. My pronunciation of English is so bad, so bad. Oh. I studied I study English when I was uh, 20 years, 10 years old. Oh, years old. and you haven't I, studied since then? What? <clears throat> you haven't studied since you were 20 years old? Yes, no. Oh wow! Okay, well that's good. Good for you that you. But I am I, I am at, uh, forty nine years old. Forty nine. Wow, we well, are learning here. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you do you remember when you study English? I uh, one thing that's a grammar. Do you remember the grammar teacher? Grammar, dolphin right. and grammar. Do I remember or what? See, were yes. You did you study English in the grammar? I well, to be honest, I didn't study English. <laughs> uh. Yes, I, I English is my first language, so I never studied it. But but I do understand what you're saying. Yes, uh huh. Yeah. yeah. It happened I, to me with with French. That's what I was talking about the last time. That um, I studied French about twenty years ago. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, okay. I've forgotten a lot of French. Mm, so I, I can understand how you feel, but it's okay because the important thing is that we're learning. <clears throat> Everybody here is learning. That's and, right. Uh, we are. We're all going to make mistakes because you know we're learning. If you if you were not learning, then you wouldn't be here, right? If you so yeah, if, that's right. Right. So it's okay. We can make mistakes. The important thing is that we learn from the mistakes. That's the most important thing, right? Yeah. So, if it, it does actually, you know what? Um, I'm actually going to share some. I just remembered about some things. I wanted to share some some a very interesting memes with you. So I'm going to send it to the WhatsApp group, and I think it's something that you guys will will benefit. <laughs> from, okay. And if they're, okay. they're memes, they are like inspirational memes. Okay. So. Okay. Okay, so that will help you guys to um, to feel, you know, that it's okay to make mistakes. It's okay. We're learning and, you know, it's going to happen. But the important thing is that you don't give up, right? Okay, so. All right. So let's um, start with the, uh, the groups. We're going to start in order. <clears throat> My first group was Haiti and Luis. So Haiti and Luis. Are you there? You're going to choose one from here. Here. Wonderful. Who is the representative? I'm going to share since Luis is not feeling so well. Okay. Okay. okay no problem. All right. Go ahead. The floor is okay. Open. Okay. A new dessert is going to be introduced to the menu. The chef created the receipt according to most common customer preferences for desserts. The new dessert will be available during next August holidays. The manager doesn't, the manager doesn't have to request extra funding for this project because it is a combination of desserts we already sell. The new dessert quesadilla a la moda will be introduced by the waiter's staff. Sounds good. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> Very good plan. Very good. Okay. All right. So just remember, um, Haiti, <clears throat> just, mm -hmm. and this is actually not just for Haiti. This is for everybody because it's something that you're probably going to all use or the majority of you are going to be using. So I'm going to write this down in the chat. Okay. This word here is pronounced recipe okay recipe recipe yes okay 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 all right so it's um and should not be confused with this word right here. receipt <laughs> yeah. hi my god those words <clears throat> okay so this is recipe the first one is recipe and the second one is receipt 
recipe receipt. Okay. So in the first one, the E is pronounced. So you say recipe, right? So it's you, the E is actually pronounced. And in the second one, the P is silent. So okay. you, don't, you don't pronounce it. We don't say receipt. You say receipt. Oh. Okay. Okay. Receipt. 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 Yes. Okay. Didn't know that. All right. Anything else that you guys want to ask about? No. So that's pretty clear. The 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 pronunciation is clear. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. All right, actually, I'm sending you right now the first, the first mem I want to share with you guys. And I think it's going to be something <clears throat> that you will all agree with. Okay, so take a look at that. Uh, good. <laughs> That's right. Right. So if you mm. have the opportunity of seeing that, what do you guys think? I totally agree. Mm -hmm, me too. Yeah. Right. So <clears throat> there is nobody on this planet that has become very good at something without being first bad at it. I mean, you would have to be a perfect person and there are no perfect people in this, in this planet. Mm -hmm. So um, that means that you have that, yes, you're going to be bad at it at first. You're going to make mistakes at first. Yes, it's going to happen. But you, but in order to get to where you want to be, you have to first be willing to be bad at it. That's just life. Okay, so it's okay. You can be bad at something first. That doesn't mean you're going to be bad at it for the rest of your life. Okay. All right, and I'll, I'll send you guys some more later on. <laughs> this is the first one. Okay, anyways, let's continue. All right, so that's the first plan. So thank you, group number one. Very, very good. Okay, now we're going to move on to group number two, which was Edgar eh, Enriquez and Juan Francisco. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, hello. Um, I named, introduced the three power hamburger. That's chicken, pork, and beef. Um, the chef created a new and sensational hamburger, three pieces of meat, uh, one quarter, 250 grams. Each one has a new honey mustard and new mayonnaise with select products and fresh tomatoes, onion, and Roman let no sé cómo se dice lechuga. No, nunca le escuché. Lettuce. Ah, perdón. Lettuce. Eso, lettuce. <laughs> the hamburger will be available on August in the San Salvador celebration, the holidays. Um, We select the better products of the better grocery store and the better butter burner shop. That's it. Okay. And to show their product, we will show a new hamburger in the local we announce in the local registration Instagram on Facebook, and we need two influencers to make histories and three posts of the product. And that's it. Very good, bravo, excellent guys. Very, very good. Actually, I'm gonna use one of my reactions here. So thank you, very good. Okay, excellent. All right, uh, yes, the word lettuce. Lettuce. Lettuce? Yeah, um, so it's not lettuce, okay? It's not lettuce. Okay, if you guys, um, it, this is the best way for, for you guys to remember how to do this. Um, how do you pronounce this? It does. What? Lettuce and lettuce. Lettuce. 
Let us. Let us. Let us. Let us. It's the same pronunciation. Let us. Okay, so let us, like dejanos, right? Let us. And let us, the, le, the lechuga. Okay, let us. Let us. Pronunciation. Okay? okay. All right. And the difference going to be the complement, right? The difference is going to be what? The difference going to be the complement. The complement. Yeah, when you are talking about some uh, ingredients, so the you know that the person going to be the. Yeah, in the context. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, context. the context is going to tell you what you're, if you're talking about lettuce or yes. you're talk about they have. Yeah. Right, so yeah, uh -huh. and the other word mm -hmm. is mayonnaise. I Oy. mayonnaise. Lettuce of mayonnaise of lettuce. Uh -huh. so, mayonnaise. So it's not mayo. It's not mayo. It's mayo. Think of like the 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 the, the, the month of the year. Mayonnaise. Like mayonnaise. You say. Like uh, you say April, May, June. So May, May. So it's mayonnaise, not mayo. Mayonnaise. 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 Okay. Okay. <clears throat> and the other the other word is, or better said, so this one's not so much of a pronunciation, it's more about the um the usage. You said the be the better, the better something you said, right? But remember the word better is used when we are comparing. Comparing. Okay. Two things, but this one you are comparing more than two. You're comparing it with all of it because you're saying like the most, right? El mejor, the right? Best. So in that in that case, it would be the best, not the better, but the best. Okay, but very good, excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. And so that sounds like we select the best products of the best grocery store and the best butcher shop. Yes, that's perfect. There you go. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. All right. Okay, great. Let's move on to the next group. Number three, Edgar Menjivar and Ivan. Hello. Hello. Um. We're gonna introduce in the restaurant a uh, new chicken burger barbecue. And the chef create the new recipe uh, for the new burger. The manager approved the, the budget and the market department staff prepared the market campaign. Um, the new burger will be available during the Independence Month. Uh, we need uh, funding for this project. The, morgue, the burger is made with chicken chest, uh, fresh bread, fresh tomatoes, onions, uh, crispy bacon, sliced, and the special barbecue sauce. Um, some cheddar cheese. The communication will be through social media, um, some flyers, uh, some posters in the restaurant. That's all. All right, very good, excellent. Bravo. Thanks. Let me give you one of these, okay. Very good. Okay, um, good, excellent guys. Now, just was, uh, uh, wanted to rem 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 remind me, how do you say uh, receta in English? Recipe. 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 Exactly. Okay, so just remember that. And um, the other thing is, um, you said ch uh, chicken chest, but the word you're looking for are chicken breast, not chicken chest. Okay. Okay, chicken breast. 
Oh, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. All right. And uh, the other one is we pronounce it available. Uh -huh. Available. 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 Okay. okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Excellent. Let's move on to group number. Oh, sorry. No, before we move on to group number four. Attendance. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so the first one, of course, is Anna. Anna Claudia. Present teacher. All right, uh, Javi? Present. All right, uh, Andres? Present, teacher. Okay, great. Uh, Dennis Orlando? Edgar Alfredo? Present, present, teacher. Present. Excellent. Oh. Oh. Okay. Edgar <laughs> Alfredo? Sorry. Enrique. <laughs> okay. Evit Jorleni. No. Um, Irvin. Hello. Hello. Wonderful. Irvin, now you sound so clear. It's perfect. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fabiola. All right. Heidi. Present. All right. Uh, Irene. Present. All right. Ivan. Present teacher. Excellent. Josue. Present teacher. All right. Uh, Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jury. Jury. Jury, jury, no. No jury. Guess it means a jury. Hmm. Okay, I guess he's not here right now. Uh, Luis? Present teacher. All right. Um, Manuel Alejandro? Okay. Is Natalia here? Yes, teacher, present. All right, excellent. I'm glad you were able to connect. Yes. Um, Wendy? Present. All right. Uh, Warner? Present teacher. Yvonne? Present. Okay, great. Um, Edgar Enriquez. I'm here. Okay. Um, Eli? Eli? Eli, Eli, Eli. No, okay. Uh, Jose Montes? Jose Montes? And Jose Ayala? All right, wonderful. Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to move on. Uh, we're now going to go to group number four, which is Ana Claudia and Yvonne. I guess it's better for Yvonne to present his innovation product. Second children. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, thank you uh, to my manager, Ana Claudia. Uh, we are introducing a new Maseca churros, but this is a new kind of churros because you can choose between sweet churros and for that uh, kind of churros you can choose uh, between chocolate and sugar and cinnamon for your churros. Uh, then we have the salty churros, cheese churros, and torti churros. Torti churros because you can uh, choose torti churros instead tortillas or bread. So the next step is make a tasting festival with the different recipes of the churros. And after that, make a poll and decide the two popular preference to the all customers of the restaurant to include in the new menu. Uh, next step is uh, make advertising boards, advertising tables, 
t-shirts uh, to the personnel with the new product, uh, announcements in the social media, and announce uh, a special price uh, in the month of launching for the or new Maseca churros. So, it's and remember the last step is uh, the first month of launching the new product, there will be discounts available. Yeah, special price. Special price for the first month. <laughs> I'm just, I just imagine the um, churros, the cheese churros, <laughs> eating those. Yeah, cheese churros, salty churros, dirty <laughs> churros. Wow, well, thank you very much, Anna, uh, okay. manager Ana Claudia. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, very good. Yeah, the, the, wow, that sounds very interesting, all of those different types of churros. I, mean, I, yeah. I would really want to try those. Yeah. They are very special. Have you actually made them? She yes. made them. She oh. gave me the, yeah. No, no, no. She made the. the... Only, we, we, well, well uh, I have only two uh, kind of churros right now. I have only salty churros and sweet churros. But Ana Claudia told me <laughs> that uh, the cheese churros is another kind she that can we try. can try. Uh, yeah, we can try <laughs> in the future. But but um, Yvonne, you did it just for yourself, right? It was just like yeah, only for for my family. Uh -huh. oh, okay, okay. Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. You definitely have to share the recipe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, very good. Okay, bravo girls. Very, very good. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Okay, let's move on to group number five, which is Irene and Wendy. Okay, good evening, my classmate. I'm going to talk about our plan to introduce a new product a special a spicy pizza. Okay, first we make a poll to know the opinion about our clients because they say us their preference about tastes, right? Then uh, provide free sampling, free full samplings of the new pizza in different places, for example, at the park, at the birthday parties, something like that. And we social, we use social network sites to put different advert ads for the new products. And finally, we give promotions that include the new spicy pizza at the restaurants. That's all. All right, sounds very good, bravo. That sounds really, really delicious. I particularly like pizza, so that's very good. Excellent. And uh, what the spicy spe uh, pizza, like what, 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 what does it have? Like how does it, how do you make it spicy? The ingredients, mm -hmm. the recipe, yeah. okay, <laughs> different spices. <laughs> okay. I just can imagine oh, yeah. a lot of yeah. the, the receipt is secret. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> different kind, kind of spices. <laughs> <That's all. laughs> it's secret, the, the family secret. <laughs> okay. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, that sounds good. That, that sounds really, really good, girls. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, um, let's move on to group number six. Javi, Irvin, and Josue. Okay. Um, in a restaurant. We want to introduce a new specialty of sandwich. The chef brings some ideas for our manager. The manager approved uh, the new ideas for our snack menu. Um, the restaurant decide to name it or call them uh, Cool Good Sandwich. 
Uh, some specialties are the shrimp cool sandwich and crab sandwich. And for the strategies, um, the uh, please, Erwin, and uh, share some strategies, please. Okay, when you have a, a hello? Okay. Yes, when you, I can hear you. When you have, okay, when you have a, a, a restaurant, the customer buy about the emotion, okay? One person buy emotion. You, you have the inside and the mindset. The mindset is when you think. With the inside and you feel in your heart, okay? Because if you have to buy uh, something, for example, one in one restaurant, you can use for something easy for example a picture with a color language with the price for example eight five point nine okay and you can use uh, the for uh, one display to put over the table if a new if i eat a new item if a new item you can put the display you know display how it is teacher displays are like uh when you put a picture in the uh, the picture, you can see the customer, okay? Display? Mm, I'm not very sure. Could you explain a little bit better? Yeah. Are those the ones in the tables that yes. you can see the menu? Yeah, yeah, yes, but it's a the stand up. It's a, it's a display. It's a display. Uh, oh, and, and is it like the, like, the big posters kind of like that no no big poster because the big posters uh, the the customer uh, only will be see and you have it's to, a small picture in the center a, of the table yeah, yes, oh, yes, with yes the specialties yes. and yes. promotion and other things yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and use the color language color language color and the price and um, if you want to say something more important, the, the one person in the restaurant say, we have a new product, a new item. And this is a, the, the, the customer sometimes buy only the inside, no mindset, inside. Because if you want to buy a car, yes, it's a mindset. But if you want to buy uh, all for to eat, it's a inside, you feel. And, if you have a new pro a new a new product, you can use it that this extra trait. Okay. Although, okay. Can, yeah. All right. You know a lot of restaurants are winning. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, in Do the, you in work the, at restaurants? I mean, uh, because you know the, a lot. In the restaurant, you can use many many extra things. For example, mm. the color, the bathroom the seat and the script when when one person visit the the, the 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 restaurant you say hey hi how are you can you help me this is a, <laughs> this is a script yeah if you want to want a, a dessert to dessert if you want a, a dessert this is a script you can use it in the marketing I don't have a restaurant I am the I, I my my career is a marketing I know mm. that about this something. And if you want to sell something, you can uh, introduce the people for to buy for free, for easy to buy something, okay? Mm. You have to buy something free or easy for, for the person. And if you want to say the, the item, but uh, for example, a sandwich, but the sandwich is in no favor, or the the bread is bad, or the the person who give you or say something and the person is so angry, uh, you can sell anything, okay? Mm -hmm. So you are the perfect person to ask for like about <laughs> strategies, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yes, he needs to make the strategy for the massacre tours. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Yeah, no. Good, good for you. Excellent. Okay, excellent. Um, you mentioned the word strategies. Okay, so um, remember the pronunciation for that word. That's actually one word, the word that we're going to be, we were using a lot 
it's strategies, strategies, strategies. Como con de, strategies. Strategies. Strata. Strategies. Strategies. Strata. Uh -uh. Strata. Strategies. Strategies. Mm -hmm. Strategy. Strategy. Not a strategy, it's strategies. Strat. Stra, I know. Strategy. Stra. 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 The G's. Stra. The G. Strategy. 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 There you go. Okay. Perfect. That's <laughs> strategies. Mm -hmm. sure. Exactly. And there was another word I wanted just to make sure um, that, uh, Irvin, you said, did you say the word mindset? Is that the mindset. word you were you were using? Mindset, yeah. It, you're you're muted right now. Yes, mindset is how I pronounce mindset. Yes, is, is mind, mind, mindset. Yes, mindset. 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 Now, actually, in this word, uh, the D is is almost silent, so you really don't say mindset. mindset. It's more like mindset. 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 Okay. Okay, so the D is like a little bit like lost in there. Yeah. Mindset. Mm -hmm. Good, excellent. All right, let's move on to the next group, uh, which is group number uh, seven, Jose, uh, Yala, and Werner. Okay, yes, the tree. We're gonna talk about uh, uh, the new item. So that's gonna be a drink. So, or new non-alcoholic drink going to be launched the next week. And we really know that all of drinks are really special, but or a new frosting mix of lemon, watermelon, and mine uh, gonna be delicious. Uh, we really know that gonna be interesting uh, promotion that's gonna be Bogo. That's gonna be called Bogo. Buy one, get one. And uh, we really know that uh, all people gonna love or drink. Sounds good, very good. What did you say was the name? Uh, it's a no frosting mix. But what, what's the name? Uh, doesn't have a name, but only has the ingredient. Ah, okay. Okay. Sounds good though. Very, very good. It sounds, it sounds like a, a good strategy. Excellent. Okay. Very good. And finally, the last one, the last group I have here is group number eight, which is Andres. Andres, uh, who are you working with? With Yuri, teacher. Oh. Okay. Yuri, Vladimir. Him, right? But he's not. Yeah. I think. Okay. So you're gonna okay. be okay. Okay, I'm here. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, I didn't see. Do you want to read or? Uh, I don't know. If you want, you can read. Okay. In the in so, our restaurant, we so will introduce. I'm going to interrupt for a moment. Um, jury, maybe I don't know. I think it's it's the position of your camera. We can't really see you. Ah, oh, there you are. It, it, uh, I I have problem with the connection. That's why I lost. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. I it guess. was offline for oh, okay. some minutes. So, so we we didn't we didn't see you. Um, okay. So was, uh -huh. Okay. Continue. Go ahead. Okay. In our restaurant, we will introduce a new dessert. It's a uh, a strawberry cake. Uh, the baker will create the dessert and the social media staff will be responsible for the marketing. The dessert will be available during the month of July in a promotion with a free coffee. And the recipe is milk, strawberry, sugar, vanilla, flour, flour, and eggs. 
and the no, only, only that teacher. All right, very good. Sounds like a good drink. Do you guys have a name for it? Sorry. Sounds like a good drink. Do you guys have a name for it? No, not the teacher. Okay, all right, but that's good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Bravo, guys. All right. So you guys um, have uh, very good ideas. Um, now you can go ahead and, you know, uh, make your own business, have your own little, um, you know, uh, restaurant or cafe or whatever you guys want to make and know how to promote a product, right? I mean, why not? You can do that. You know, and it doesn't have to be something big. It could be something like starting like, uh, like for example, um, you know, making churros just like Yvonne, right? You can yes. Promote them, like, uh, you know, make sure that everybody in the neighborhood knows that you're selling churros and, you know, maybe they start coming to buy them. Who knows? Something small like that, but now you guys know how you can, like what strategies you can use, right? You've heard different ideas from other classmates. So that's good. Excellent. Okay. Very good, guys. So now that we've done that, um, let's um, go ahead and continue. So please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint or not. So just give me a second. Can you see it? There you go. Yeah? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Perfect. All right. Yes. All right, guys. So we're going to be looking at our conversation. Oops. Oops. No. Conversation here. First question for I want you guys to discuss with the partner is what is a promotional activity? And how do you create successful promotional activities for your restaurant products? Okay, so I want you to go back to your group, same group, and I want you to discuss those questions. It's not going to take very long. I just want you guys to discuss those two questions with a partner. Okay. All right. So we're going to go back in the group. In the groups, just going to give you five minutes, probably actually probably less, just four minutes, just to discuss those two questions. Okay. Um. Uh, Warner, are you in, are you assigned to any group right now? Mm, no. No teacher, uh, his problem one on or disconnected, side. disconnected my internet teacher. Oh, okay. So you only have one, right? Yes, only, only oh, okay. one, this right. moment. Okay, I'm gonna sign you right now. <laughs> okay, I teach you one question. Yeah. Uh, if I said uh, a promotional meeting, a like promotional activity is a type of reunion, that's correct or that's not correct? Could you repeat that again? A promotional activity is a type of reunion. A type of union? No, let me confirm. 
It's not a meeting. I mean, a reunión. Reunión. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, okay, could you repeat the question again? Let me check. So that's just, I'm just, uh, a promotional activity mm -hmm. is a type of, just let me check. Reun uh, reunion, reunion, mm -hmm. is that correct? Uh, yes, but... Uh, it, when you use reunion. Reunion is when you meet somebody that you haven't seen for a long time. Like a, you can have a family reunion. That means ah, that okay. you get together with your family because you have not seen them for a very long time. Ah, okay, 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 okay. But if you, if you talk about activity when I need to a people to show our product, uh, or new products new product. or product, a new product. Uh huh. Uh -huh. How can product. I say that? Uh, I think you're talking about a meeting. That's a meeting, right? Okay. Yeah, that's a meeting. Mm -hmm. A promotional meeting is a meeting uh, to show to the people a new product or a new yeah, a new product. That's it. Remember, it's product. 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 Okay. It's, Product. it's a type of meeting. It's a, it's a meeting. Hire the influencer. Yeah. Hire the influencer. Okay. We can hire influencers. influencers in social media. In social media to have a, okay higher influences influencers in social media that to create a uh, ad for for the new products for the new product and mm -hmm. yeah that's right for example did you did you see right now uh, the the newspaper actually the mm, less people is reading or uh, less people like to read papers. They prefer to access to information through the YouTube, for example, social network, YouTube, social network Facebook, whatever. And they prefer use that kind that kind of media more than TV or or even the cable. Now is more effective. It here now. Okay, good. So everybody's back. So let's discuss these two questions. Um, so, what is a promotional activity? Hello, teacher. I think that uh, promotional activities like um, an action plan. When you have an action plan, you have a, a, a plain some activity that you have to do for something. Uh, in this in this situation, is um, 
uh, promotion sub products for your restaurant. For example, you you think about uh, who, uh, might uh, have a discount in some products, or maybe uh, uh, samples that we talk about when the last week about that. Uh, or maybe have a plan about safe of cost, cost in some products, and you promotion the new ones. Okay, very good, excellent. Yeah, very, very good. So the promotional activity is the actual activity that um, you use to be able to promote the product, right? So remember you guys talked about different strategies. So the promotional activity is part of that, those strategies, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Next question, how do you create a successful promotional activity for your restaurant products? Anybody? Fisher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Promotion in English, you can say now, I'll say communication. Okay. The promotion is communication and marketing. But the communication and promotion is similar. All that place want to win money at the company. For example, a restaurant. All want to get money and continue to get money. Okay. Okay. When you have a one communication or one promotion, you want to a promotion, you can say that the base mark and give a offer. The offer, how pronounce okay? Offer? Offer is okay? How pronounce? Offer. Offer. Yeah, offer. Okay. For example, base mark. Base mark, you can use an offer, for example, and Mother's Day. You can have oh, okay. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Just a second. You meant you said offer or offer. like like offer like the ofrecer or oferta. Oferta. Offer. Ah, okay. No, that would be um oferta would be a um promotion in price. A promotion. Promotion in price. price. Okay. Uh -huh. so, yeah. Yeah. Promotion in price. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can use the for example the. A Black Friday, you can use it. Mm -hmm. um, for example, the Mother's Day, you can mm -hmm. use it. This is the something that you can use it. And if, for example, the beer day, beer day, okay, beer day of the restaurant, you can say a promotion about this. If you want to change a one product, for example, Starbucks had a new new item, for example, example, coffee with lemon. I don't know. With you, can, you can use the a promotion, but all things is a communication, and this communication wants to fall in love the customer with the company. Okay. Only that. This is okay. Good. Sounds good. Very very good. Okay. Anybody want to add to that? Anybody want to say something else? Um, okay. Use on your on our time the most popular way to show your product is use the influencers on social media uh, like Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So basically, you need to pay to the influencer histories and um, post created, and this is the way to show the new products. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Excellent. Any other ideas? Okay. All right. Well, let's now that you guys have given uh, me some ideas, we've talked about it with your group. Let's actually read this um, conversation between these two people. Their names are Carla and Mr. Sanders. Okay, so they have a conversation here. And I'm actually going to practice the conversation with you guys. And you guys can go ahead and open your microphones and repeat after me. <clears throat> okay, so here we go. The first one is Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spice. Sorry, a new kind up there. 
Luigi is going to introduce a new company of spicy pizza to the menu. Of spicy pizza to the menu. Of spicy pizza to the menu. Spicy pizza to the menu. Notice this word is kind, not kind, but kind. Kind, kind. Kind. Good. We worked in an action plan. We worked, we worked in an action, 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 action plan. Teacher work, worked on T O D. Yes. yes, the pronunciation is with T. Worked. 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 Mm -hmm. Good. But we need to save costs. But we need to save costs. And get customers. And get customers. To try the new product. To try the new product. How about promotional activities? Uh, of our uh, promotional uh, activities. activities at the restaurant. At the restaurant. You know, you know, you know, um, you, know. you can discount. You can discount. 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 The green pepper sticks. The green, the green pepper, pepper, pepper sticks, sticks. That never sell. That, that never, never sell. sell. Then. Then. And customers will get the green pepper sticks. Customers will get, get the green pepper, the green pepper, pepper sticks. sticks. And you hook them. And, and you hook, you hook them. them. And then up with the spicy pizza. Uh, up with yes, the, the spicy pizza. pizza. I think of that. Sorry, sorry. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I think didn't think of that. I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. Sounds, Sounds like, like a good idea. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. You might want to have. You might want, want, want to, to have. have a promotional activity. A promotional, promotional activity. activity. Close to a big event. Close to a big event. event. Like a concert. Like a concert. Or a concert. Or ba baseball game. Or, or a baseball, baseball game. Baseball game. You could offer. You could offer. offer. A discount to the people. A discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Who bought, who bought a ticket for the, ticket for the, event, event. the event. 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 Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. my. <laughs> I will call you later. I will call you later. later. Luigi is outside. Luigi is outside. Luigi is outside. The restaurant. The restaurant. restaurant. Giving free samples. Giving free samples. But he isn't telling people. But he isn't telling people. The pizza is super spicy. <laughs> the pizza is super spicy. Super spicy. Poor people, right? <laughs> so yeah. You can imagine the poor people like, oh yeah, free samples. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> loves free samples. And then, ah, oh, right. So poor people. Damn Luigi. Yeah, sad Luigi. <laughs> okay, very good. Any questions about the vocabulary, the pronunciation of vocabulary? I think the pronunciation is pretty clear, but if you have any questions, you can ask about that too. Do you have any questions about the pronunciation or yes i have a question regarding the pronunciation teacher and these two words in the first one you say i don't know because it's because it's in plural but you say activities and lower uh, we have standard and you say activity 
what is the difference? What is the correct pronunciation between those two words? Um, it's correct to pronounce it with the strong T in the activities or activities. What is the best way to pronounce it? Um, yes, when, when we have a, a, when it's plural, we're mm -hmm. going to emphasize the fact that it's plural. And so that's why the T kind of gets, you know, like lost. Um, it's, it's still there, but it's not as strong. So we're going to say activities, right? Activities. The T, it sounds more like a D, activities. Okay. So we don't really say activities. Um, unless you are British, and then you would say something mm -hmm. like activities, right? <clears throat> but if you are more American or Canadian, you would pronounce it like activities, like the D. With R, with R, right? Activities. Activities, activities, activities. Oh, with D, activities. activities. D's. <gasps> oh, I thought it was with R. My goodness. Activities. Activity. Activities. It's between like a D and an R. Oh activities. my goodness. Activities. activities. Oh, from England. Yeah, oh, she said American game. pronunciation, <laughs> sir. We lost the game with Italy. <laughs> activities. Okay. Yeah. Activities. Whereas this one, because it's singular and you know, mm -hmm. we're, we're we can we can pronounce it a little bit more and we can say activity. Activity. But it's still gonna be like a uh, like a D sound. Activity. My God. Okay. It's my so included will be activities. Activity. 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 <laughs> I thought all my life there was an R. No, actually, okay. this one's more like an R. This one's actually marked like an R. Activity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Abby, do you have a question? Yes, teacher. Uh, hoop the up <clears throat> is is a, a whole word. That's you. You want to know the meaning? Uh, conectar or enlazar? Yeah, it's this one is actually means more like um, enganchar. Enganchar. Uh -huh. Enganchar. Uh -huh. Hook is uh, el gancho. Uh -huh. So hook them up. It's like Como conectar. Me salía a mí conectar. Yes, but in this context, it's more, it means more like that you're going to make them like like addicted almost okay okay so they they are um como de enganche uh -huh. de enganchar uh -huh. Uh -huh. enganchar a los clientes yeah uh -huh. como, como pescar like a fish fish exactly like a fish Fisherman. Yeah. The pronunciation is hook the hook the nap yes them yeah. okay. refers to the clients right the customers so this uh -huh, is hook uh -huh. up hook up mm -hmm. hook up yeah okay thanks any other questions it's all clear yeah of course so good okay great i like that okay so if there is nothing else that I can do for you in this part, let's discuss the questions. Okay, so we have same questions here. We have some compre comprehension questions about the conversation. And so look at the conversation and complete the sentences. So you mm, discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Next one is you mm, want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a basketball game. And the last one is you mm, sí. offer a discount sí, hombre, for the um, who bought a ticket for the event. <laughs> okay, so I'll give you a chance about a minute there to complete those, those sentences. Shouldn't be too difficult.
Okay, you guys ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. Good. So let's check, let's write the answers. Um, okay, the first one would be? Cool. 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 Like that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Next, you. My. 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 Right. Okay, you might want to have a big promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or a, base, a baseball game. And finally, cool. You, cool. Cool. You, cool. 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 you could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Okay, good. So those are what you saw in the conver in the conversation. So what's it with this could and might? What's that all about? Let's talk a little bit about that. In the next one, we have uh, formal suggestions and requests. Okay. So here we have our explanation table to use could and might. Can someone help me to read? Well, I'm going to read the first part and then somebody can help me read the, this part here. So the first says, it says, use could and might to make a formal <coughs> or request. A formal suggestion or a formal request. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. So I'm going to need a volunteer to help me read this part. Okay, go for it, Jose. Okay, use cool to make a suggestion. Uh, use cool to talk to your manager about bundling products for the promotional event. You could generate business in a community event. I agree, the mic. No, that's fine. That's fine. Um, very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so notice that we're using the word could okay. so you use so all the time we're going to be using the could so you could and you could right and after the could what do we do we use the sorry after the sorry. after the use of could we need to use a suggestion right and the verb has to be in the infinitive okay so we say, you could talk, you could generate, okay? So it's always gonna be in the, in the base form of the verb, okay? Why is it like that? Because a could is a model auxiliary. Mm -hmm. And after model auxiliaries, we always use the base form. Is that clear for everybody? That sound clear? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. All right, excellent. Now I need another volunteer to help me read this part. Anybody? Might, might is often used with want or like to add politeness. You might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity. You might like to schedule a promotional event along a holiday like Black Friday. Thank you. Okay, so in this case, we're gonna be using might, but might one, is not just- One going to be... question uh -huh. is the word is to say politeness, right? Lightness. Politeness, yes. Lightness, okay. Yes. All right, so we're gonna be using might, but might is not alone. It's always gonna be with might want or might like. Okay, so you can use either one, my like want or my like. It's it's okay, whichever one you prefer. And after the my like or my want, you use the to infinitive. Oops, all right. We use the to infinitive to have, to schedule, 
okay? So we say might want or might like, and then the two infinitive. Is that pretty clear for everybody? But both is, is a formal suggestion or request, both. Mm -hmm. Could and might. Right, exactly. So the, it, it depends the context of the sentence. You have to say something most politeness is might. Uh -huh. uh, mm, I would say a little bit more polite would be the might, yes. Okay, uh, but they're both for suggestions. Okay, both of them are suggestions. Uh, but the might makes a little bit more formal. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Okay. Teacher, excuse me. Mm -hmm. is, a, is it the mom, mom, how say might or cool for your son? I'm sorry, what was the, sorry, could you repeat that again? Okay. The mother or the father, how say is your brother? You might be, or you could, you could be. Yeah, you can decide if you can, if you want to use might or could. Sorry, might or I'm sorry, might uh, want or might like. You, it's up, it's up to you. Okay, you like the bus. You might. Sorry, I'll re can you repeat that again? Okay. Uh, for the bus, the bus, the, uh, the head of the bus. Oh, the boss, uh huh. The boss, yes. Say, might want to have a, a big job, a big, a big board. The bus, is it correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can, you can use the could as well, but if, if you're going to be talking to your boss, you might be want, you want it, you might want to be more polite. And so you want to use the might. Mm -hmm. Share, I have a question. Uh, the examples here are used uh, with you. What happened? Is there a change if we use uh, a third person, this third singular person? He, yeah, it, it, yeah, I was going to explain that in a moment. Um, let me just finish off. Uh, so this is the structure here. We have the subject plus could plus the base form. Oh, actually, let me change that a little bit because I need to put the... Yeah, so uh, most of the time um, you're going to be using you because it's a suggestion. So you make a suggestion usually to the person directly. You don't really make a suggestion for a third person. It's mostly for the second person. Does that make sense? Mm, so we okay. that, So most of the time. All right. Now with this one, the structure. So this one's going to be subject plus good plus base verb plus a complement. With this one, it's going to be the subject. <clears throat> The subject plus uh, might. Um, and we can use might like or might want. And then we have the two infinitive and then the complement. Okay, so that's how it's going to work with this one. It's a little bit different. Okay. Okay, um, does that make sense for everybody or are you a little confused about this? Teacher, I read uh, cool is for um, capacity, abilities, and might is for a possibility the, for yeah, a situation. Right. No, okay, yeah, okay, let me, let me explain to you. The mm -hmm. model, model auxiliaries can be used for many different things, okay? Uh, but right now, in this moment, we're only we're concentrating on could and might 
for suggestions and requests only for that. Okay, so I, I know that they can be used for other things, but right now we're just concentrating on these two, suggestions and requests. Okay, does that make sense? Because like I said, we can use them for many different things. Now, now I, I understand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so <clears throat> don't get yourself confused by, by looking at all the different possibilities of using could and might because it's too much information and then you're gonna get confused anyways. So right now at this moment, all I want you to do is understand that we're, we're going to learn how to use it for suggestions and requests. And I'm gonna give you some examples, okay? So here we go. So these are some examples for you to be able to understand it better. To improve your German, you could attend a course or study on your own. So notice could and then the base, the base verb. Or you could take her to a restaurant or a cafe for the first meeting. So again, here we have could and the base form take. <clears throat> we could go for a drink after school tomorrow if they like. And notice that here we're using the subject we, not you anymore. Because yes, what suggestion we can include ourselves as well, right? But this is in this case, it would be first person and then second person. That's why it's we, okay? <clears throat> And uh, we have, you could always call my mother and see if she might babysit. So again, we have could, and then we use the base form of the verb. We're using always as a adverb of frequency, okay? Now for the might, we say, you might want to ask for his permission. So notice here we have might, want, in this case, we're using the word want, and then here we have the to infinitive, yeah. okay? You might want to look into that. Again, we have the might and want, we're using the, the verb want, and then the to infinitive, to look. So you say you might want to look into that means like you might want to investigate that, <clears throat> okay? Another one is you might like to make sure of that before you make a final decision. Again, here we're using might, but this time we're using the word like, right? Like this one right here. So might like, and then we use it to infinitive to make, to make sure. And finally is you might like to put a deposit on that reservation so that you don't lose it. Again, we're using might like, okay? And then the to infinitive to put. Does that make sense? Yes. Any questions? Okay. All right, guys. So your homework is, or oops, let me erase. Let me erase all these drawings. Okay. So your homework is the following. <clears throat> You're going to do these exercises, which is the instruction, complete the sentence using could or might, and compare your answers with the classmate. That will be tomorrow that we will be comparing. So we have some sentences here. Okay, we have um, five sentences in total that you have to decide if you're gonna be using could or might like or might want. So this shouldn't take you very long. It's gonna take you like five minutes. And of course you have to do the, whole, the exercise that is in the platform, okay? So that's gonna be all for today. Any questions at this point? No. No? Okay, so don't, so don't forget, you need to complete the, the, um, the platform tonight, okay? And please uh, work in, also work in the, the exercise um, that in, in the manual and answer the, the questions from the forum, okay? So I'm just gonna take the attendance very quickly before we leave. Uh, first, of course, is Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Javi. Present. Andres. Present teacher. Dennis Orlando. Edgar uh, Menjiva. Present teacher. Um, Edith Jorleni. Irvin. 
Present teacher, present. Fabiola. Heidi. Heidi. Present teacher. Okay. Irene. Present teacher. Okay. By the way, Irene, today is your one-on-one -on -one session. Okay. Um, Ivan. Present teacher. Okay. Josue. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Present teacher. Jury. Present teacher. Luis. Present teacher. Manuel. Man Manuel Alejandro. No. Natalia. Present no. teacher. Okay. Wendy. Present. Okay. Werner. Present teacher. Yvonne. Present. Edgar Enriquez. I'm here. Eli. Eli. Jose Montes. Jose Montes. And Jose Ayala. Present teacher. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be all. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to have everything ready from the platform. Okay. So take care. Have a good evening. Bye. 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 No? Okay. No, All right. Okay, no worries. No worries. All right, take care. Have a good evening. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Take care, Irvin.